Hello everybody, it's me, Riff Raff Hornhelm, and I'm back again with another presentation from the Dwarven Vault, and today we have a monster review. And today's monster review is a, another creature that comes to us from the original monster manual as used with uh, basic Dungeons and Dragons, advanced Dungeons and Dragons, were what's called today 1E, and the creature that we are talking about today is called the Lamaya. And the Lamaya is another one of these evil creatures out there. And this one is the upper torso of a female, or looks mostly like a female, uh, at least the way it was initially described, and the lower quarters of a beast. Uh, they don't specify which one, so I guess there's some variety. Most of the ones that I saw used in dungeons were usually like a, a lion or a puma or something like that. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, that's up to the DM because there was a bit of latitude back then when it came to this specific creature. They are a very rare creature. You only get them one at a time. So if you use them as a wandering, they're not going to show up in groups. Uh, they have a total of nine hit dice and an armor class of three. So these are not pushovers when it comes to either endurance or ability to hit them. They're also an extremely fast creature. They move at a maximum speed that's twice that of a human, so 240 feet around. And uh, that's pretty impressive. And they're highly intelligent. Uh, like I said before, evil, but specifically chaotic evil. And they are creatures that dwell in the desert, generally in uh, like de deserted cities, uh, caves, uh, uh, fortresses, anything like that. It's always a desert type setting that they're in. And they have a number of magical abilities and the intent of these magical abilities is to be able to lure their potential victims to their doom, of course, and uh, really get them in a position where they can capture them and then uh, eventually kill them and eat them. Uh, though they're very specific about how they do that. They actually drain the blood of their victims first, and then they eat the remaining flesh and bones. Very tidy of them, I guess. They kind of use the uh, word victim as, you know, like one of those old Capri Sun things. You know, it's, it's I guess it works. Um, on top of that, they are typically, though usually only armed with a dagger, their touch if it's successful, will drain one point of wisdom from their victim. And that's permanent. Now, if they drain their victim down to three points of wisdom, that person must serve them, do whatever they want. And you know how it's going to end. Depends on how hungry they get and how fast, I guess. That's pretty nasty. So, as to the spells that they can use, they have some spells that they use once a day, or abilities they can use once a day. They can uh, cast, like, a suggestion, or charm person, or illusion. Uh, these are all things that they're using to lure their victim to uh, where they can, well, either touch them or use some of the other magic that they have. And, of course, those uh, magical abilities, there's one I left out, I think it's uh, Mirror Image, um, are what they've then used, like I said, to lure them to a place and, and like hold them there, and then they can start touching them and reducing them uh, in terms of wisdom until they become uh, uh, pretty much drooling servants. And, uh, way, you know, I, it, it certainly works very well for the Lamaya. Um, they are a creature that definitely needs to be respected. And though they are highly intelligent, they're, they can speak common tongue. Um, beyond that, I think it's like alignment tongue, which is, well, my opinions on that are quite clear in another video. Uh, useless, absolutely useless. Uh, but common tongue makes sense. And uh, they're going to do everything they can to get you at a disadvantage. But even if you're going to fight them, it's not going to be very easy to do. 
Uh, they, of course, are not special in terms of any kind of magic resistance, so regular magic spells will work. Um, and, of course, that also means you can defeat some of their magic by being able to see through it or whatever it may be. Um, it's not stupid, though. It's highly intelligent, and as a result, it's going to try and, you know, pick off the person at the back of the party, uh, pick off the person who is uh, maybe on watch at the campfire that night, uh, it's not trying to engage the whole group, it's trying to get a meal, and it's going to try and do that at the uh, easiest possible way that it can do. So, which makes sense. So, of course, we had to go out to the greater Hornhelm community and ask them about this specific creature, and in talking to the dungeon masters out there, uh, they came back with the Lamaya being uh, a pretty good creature. It, they actually gave it about a four and a half. And the main reason for it was is because of its uh, method of operation, which was, you know, always picking on somebody at the fringe of things, uh, the one who was an easy target. And uh, that always gave the party some, uh, oh, I guess some additional pucker factor after that, making sure that they were uh, uh, well covered when it came to watches. You know, they'd go from one person on watch to two people on watch, this kind of stuff. And in talking to the players out there, uh, they said that um, it was a wake-up call for whatever character was able to uh, uh, attract it or lure it away. Um, and uh, sometimes they got away, sometimes they didn't. Um, but, you know, it's something where they thought it was a very respectable character as long as it operated the way it wanted to. As soon as you got multiple people involved with it, it was a lot more uh, susceptible to uh, taking some serious damage, uh, but it took a lot more to do so because of its endurance and its lower armor class. Makes sense to me. They came back as players and said, yeah, about a four and a half. So the Lamaya is a tough character, but one like any other that if you prepare for, you won't have too much difficulty in being successful. We hope you found today's presentation interesting, educational, entertaining, all that kind of good stuff. If you did, please be so kind as to leave us a like. Uh, consider subscribing if you haven't. Uh, share with your friends. Um, leave us a comment. But by all means, come back and see us again real soon. We very much appreciate your kind support. Take care, everyone. And remember, dwarves rock!